Hi guys, so a lot of ROGLI Z1 Extreme, ROGLI X and Legion Go users have been struggling to properly install the new AMD graphics drivers 24.8.1 at either on the Lenovo Legion Go Breaks Legion Space or on the ROGLI Z1 Extreme and the X that breaks the MSI Afterburner stats and doesn't really play well with the AMD Adrenaline software. So I'm just going to show you the steps to install the drivers properly. So this is just a, a demonstration of Legion Go. Um, it wasn't opening up the Adrenaline software. And here's just a still photo that I took of the ROG LIX. It installs the drivers 24.8.1 that you can see here in the Adrenaline software. But then on MSI Afterburner, it breaks it. So even though you go and select install the AMD Radeon 780 graphics driver manually, once it's installed, it comes up on Afterburner 740M. So yeah, let me just show you how we're going to fix that. So these are just all photos showing you that I, in fact, use this method on the ROG Ally Z1 Extreme and the ROG Ally X. So back to the Legion Go here. You can see Legion Space is currently running on the screen. So let's install the graphics drivers 24.8.1. So this is obviously to support Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Concord game has since been delisted. Everybody's been refunded. Um, Final Fantasy 16 that's coming out this month and Star Wars Outlaws that came out last week. So I'll leave the download link in the description for the AMD 24.8.1 graphics drivers. Download it and then we're going to be making use of a tool called Display Driver Uninstaller. So you can go over to the Guru3D website. I'll leave the link in the description. Current version is 18.0.8.0 for the display driver uninstaller DDU. So just download that. It's a pretty small file. Extract that. Mm, it's going to be another 7-zip extractor. And extract that one as well. So now you're going to click the start button. You're going to hold the shift key on your keyboard and you're going to click restart. So keeping in your shift key while it's restarting. Just give it a second. It'll say please wait. And now it's going to say choose an option. You're going to say troubleshoot. Then you're going to say advanced options. Then you're going to say Startup Settings. It's going to tell you this is what Startup Settings entails. So you're going to click the Restart button. And now the Startup Settings screen is going to present itself. And we're going to choose Option 4 on your keyboard. Enable Safe Mode. Just give it a second to get into Safe Mode. Just put your pin in here. So on the Legion Go, it was pretty straightforward. I just logged in with my pin. But on the ROG Ally, Z1 Extreme and the ROG Ally X, for whatever reason, it was given an error that it wasn't accepting my PIN, that I need to reset the PIN, but obviously you can't reset the PIN because you're in safe mode. Um, so the extra steps on the ROG Ally, Z1 Extreme and the X, just make sure you have a secondary local user account that's an admin, and make sure that the DDU uninstaller is downloaded to that user's directory. It'll go to downloads, just so that you have no issues logging in on the ROG Ally Z1 Extreme and the X. Okay, once you're in safe mode, you're going to go to the DDU driver uninstaller. Just leave all the defaults on that screen. 
what you do want to change is obviously on the right hand side select GPU and because the ROG Ally and the Legion Go both have AMD chips we're going to select AMD for the GPU and then just click clean and restart the top button and then let it do its thing it'll restart your device you'll get back into the normal Legion Go Windows startup no longer safe mode so now that you've removed the old driver properly it's really been scrubbed from your system go to your downloads folder where you installed or where you downloaded your 24.8.1 graphics drivers just click that it'll obviously initialize it'll try to install it'll give you the normal error saying oops something went wrong that's fine because all we needed to do is dump the installation files on the root of the C drive in the AMD folder so once that AMD folder is there in your C drive you're just going to right click on your Windows start menu select device manager go over to display adapters so now you will see it's not picking up as an AMD Radeon um, graphics device it's just a generic Microsoft basic display adapter right click that say you can just say update driver then browse to the driver that you're going to be installing browse my computer for drivers let me pick and then say have disk and then browse and then go to your C drive to the AMD folder to AMD software installer packages drivers display that folder and the only INF so now this is an important step guys from the model make sure you select AMD Radeon 780 graphics you must have the word graphics there as well and you just click next and say yes that you understand give it a minute to install the drivers your screen will flash um, black just give it a second to install and there successfully updated your drivers AMD Radeon 780M graphics just go to the root of your C drive again that AMD folder AMD software installer packages drivers display that folder now you're going to go to the folder with a B and now you're going to look for ccc2 underscore install so this is just to install a genuine software that matches the version of your graphics driver just give it a minute to install okay completed once that's completed you can click close button just restart your device okay so now that your legion go is rebooted you can see it's starting up legion space okay all the stats working there in legion space just right click and see if we've got the adrenaline software so now you're getting a error saying the version of the AMD software that you have launched is not compatible with your currently installed AMD graphics driver. So I do attempt to reinstall the Adrenaline software just to see if that would solve the issue. Unfortunately I didn't. So you can just go to the display drivers and go roll back the driver so that's what got it working for me so this step wasn't needed on the ROG Ally Z1 Extreme and the ROG Ally X so your mileage may vary just restart your device again
Okay, so upon reboot, you can see Legion Space is starting up. Stats in Legion Space working fine. Just going to right click now. Open up the Genlin software. Okay, you can see the Genlin software installed. It's working fine. Confirm that you're on driver version 24.8. Don one. And here's just a screenshot of it installed on the ROG Ally X and the Legion Go as well. Legion Space working, MSI Afterburner working, showing the correct 780M graphics and driver version. Yeah, so I hope that helps, guys. Hit that like and subscribe button if this was helpful. Till next time, cheers.